Hey there, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther and welcome to a new episode of What Else Can You Do With Your Logo? Today I'm going to show you how to do this uh, wrap effect. It has a lot of stuff going on, bells and whistles. I'm going to show you those. Uh, you can create a ton of effects out of this stuff as you can see and they're like grainy and grungy and whatsoever. I'm going to show you where to find these kind of textures. I downloaded it from rawpixels.com as you can, this is the wrinkled plastic wrap texture on black background on wallpaper whatsoever. And as you can scroll down, you know, you're gonna find even more textures. Uh, I'm gonna send you the link so you can find how to access these. So import your file into the Photoshop, of course. And if it happens that your texture is colored, it contains some color, make sure it's a monochrome by clicking on this. So go to the adjustments layer, as you can see here, and press on black and white. You're gonna select black and white as you can see mine is from default is black and white so you go to the layers you press ctrl shift plus e so you basically unite the layers it's become one layer okay from here press ctrl shift plus s and from jpeg go to photoshop to the psd file so select it i'm gonna rename it i don't know wrap click on enter and now it's uh, saved import you know the other file which is basically your logo or your name or whatsoever i'm gonna import this i'm gonna, I'm gonna press ctrl c go back press ctrl v it's gonna appear in your win windows you can do with smart objects you can do with pixels uh, you know the best is like smart objects but uh, you're gonna take a while to load so i'm gonna use it like this with pixels i'm gonna press shift plus salt increase the size double click so now we're gonna apply the magic so we're gonna go to the filter distort displace so as you can see to the or on the horizontal and vertical it's like 30 by 30 so if you're using if you if it happens that you're using the same texture as i do then uh, you know uh, this kind of distortion on 30 by 30 is pretty good so if you want if you add like bigger numbers it's gonna distort it even more so it's gonna turn out a little bit more weird and uh, yeah it really depends on the texture you know what you're using but you need to you know test it out basically you're gonna click OK and uh, we all of course saved the PSD file somewhere you also saved it so select that I select the wavy click OK and from here basically it distorted um, and let me do a what is that this is the invert so uh, i go back to the adjustments layer click on invert as you can see everything got inverted this here you can do multiple stuff really interesting things so i'm gonna go and press and hold alt and as you go between the two layers between the effect and between the logo it's gonna show an arrow so i'm gonna press it as you can see it inverted only the logo as you can see here Okay, uh, of course this is inverted, uh, the other example it's uh, in, you know, with white background of course, but uh, I want to explore this first. So I'm going to double click also on the Panther logo. And as you can see these handles here, we got this handle, we got this handle, and I'm going to play around with this handle. Actually, I think this is pretty good but I'm gonna cut it in two pieces by press and hold alt, cut it in two. As you can see, this uh, got cut. I'm gonna pull this back so it won't be that strong, you know, it won't burn the contrast. Hope it makes sense, but anyway. And this is pretty good. And mainly this is how you apply the effect. You also cr can create another invert on the invert. So you're gonna click on this and it's gonna basically gonna you know invert it and you know it's pretty grungy it looks good so yeah this is kind of it uh you can experiment with a lot more try out a lot of textures and this is the trick with the distortion effect so thanks for watching don't forget to check out the other videos as well and have a good one bye bye